up, I, you know, that was cool. Like, a lot of people were like, oh, you grew up in a single family home? I'm like, yeah, like, you know, no big deal. Like, most of the niggas in America grew up with a single parent home. Like, like most dudes, like, grew up because they pop stepped out. Like, I wasn't, that wasn't the case with me. Like, uh, sir, what's your first memory of your mother? Yeah. Feeding, so you gotta think about that. My first memory of my mother, I was four, and she was fucking my pops up. Like, she, <laughs> she beat the shit out that nigga, like. And you wake up, and your first instinct is like, instinct is like, help your mother. And I was like, wait a minute, she's winning. <laughs> and as a little boy, you, you grow up, you're supposed to grow up thinking, can't nobody whoop your pops. I grew up knowing <laughs> somebody could whoop my pops. Like, <sighs> I hung out with that nigga like three months ago. Like, he was never around growing up. Like, I met him as like an adult. Like, nigga, where you been? And he, he still to this day cannot speak my mother's name. He didn't make eye contact. He's like, How, how's she doing? I'm, I'm like, who? Like, how, how was who doing? He's, he's like, you know, your mother. I'm like, oh, she's doing good. Like, she's, she, you know, she's, she's still alive. And that nigga was upset. Like, it's. <laughs> and I understand why he wasn't around. Because if anybody in here has ever got their ass whooped, like, you don't want to be in the same room with that person, let alone, like, raise a child. Like, I can just imagine, like, if my pops told me anything, I'd be like, nigga, like, I ain't listening to you. Like, I'm gonna go get mom's. Like, she, like, take out the trash. Nigga, you take out the trash. Or I'm gonna, here, like, on stage, like, making people laugh. Like, I tapped in that, like, early. Like, my mom's, like, she tried to whoop me, and, like, like, I would do something funny. Like, she hit me with the belt, and go, whap, and I'd be like, ah, Kunta, Kente. Uh, and like the whooping would stop. Like she couldn't continue on. Or I tapped in tap I tapped in that religious shit early. Like she hit me and I'd be like, oh Jesus loves you. Like she could never. She could never finish a whooping. Like she couldn't. Like, like I'm not I'm not I'm not ready for kids. Like I stay, I stay at Walgreens with the plan B. Like the plan B is my plan A. Like I'm so bad at pulling out, like I refuse to pull out, like I refuse to do it. There's no point in pulling out, like look, like 28 years I've never been to jail. Like I would hate to go to jail for something I didn't do. Like kind of like knocking up a bra, like, look, hey, I pulled out, you shouldn't get pregnant. Oh, but you're pregnant anyway? Fuck. <laughs> like, and I had a bra one time, she told me, she was like, you got the plan B? I said, I got it. And I was like, I got it for $40. She said, it don't usually cost that much. Are you sure it's the good stuff? I'm like, well, what are you worried about? Like, you gonna give birth to a half a torso? Like, what are you? <laughs> like, if you give birth to half a torso, bitch, that's your half. Like, look, I... <laughs> I paid for my half, like. <laughs> I just pray that your half is just legs. Like, cause if you, uh, I don't wanna have no kids. It's hard as hell to have sex, like when you live with a black mother. Like, I, like I've had a white mother, like I was adopted. And I had a white mother for a short period of time and she didn't care. Like she was like, bring them white bitches over, go ahead. Like. Like, she didn't care. She would get mad when me and my adopted brothers, like, all shared the same bitch. Like, she didn't like that. Like, I'm like, if she was with it, Ma, like, let's, let us do it. Like, she was, she was so angry. One time, um, my brother and I, we had, uh, we had shared a woman, but it wasn't no, like, no freak shit. Like, we didn't abuse this lady. She chose. Like, she was trying to talk to us separately. Like, we didn't talk. And then we both banged her out. Well, I kind of did. I didn't get the full penetration because the bitch had farted. <laughs> and I had to leave the room because I was like, yo, when I say room, I mean closet. 
And we had got like, like black mothers whoop your ass, like white mothers cry. And we got home from dropping the broad off and then she was like, I can't believe you two gang bang a retard in the closet. And we looked at each other, we said, no, 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 you don't understand. She wasn't retarded. She was just ugly. You ever had, you ever slept with an ugly woman? Never. Not, never? No, for a long, okay, wrong guy, wrong guy. Uh, I need to see a show, of hand. you, your woman pointing at you. Um, have you ever had sex with an ugly woman? Never? I'm not talking about currently, I'm talking about like in the past. Never? It's fine, we'll get back to that later. It's fine, you don't have to admit it now. There's somebody here, cause I'm not the only motherfucker that fucked the ugly bitch. I fucked plenty of ugly bitches. I call that practice. You don't need a bag and the lights, nobody that ugly. Like, God damn, you're rude. How many fellas tried to pineapple juice shit? Make some noise, fellas. Don't raise your hands. Make some goddamn noise. You tried the pineapple juice. The only thing with the pineapple juice is I don't know how long that takes to actually hit the balls. We not gonna test it. I'm not gonna sit at home and jack off, but we ready. That girl gave me head one time. It was terrible. But um, thank God I didn't catch nothing from her. Uh, Cause it, it, a lot of women out here in Vegas is um, what's the word? Uh, promiscuous? Is that the word? I don't know if I said it right. Who? Yeah, them hoes. Yeah, they get down, you know. And everybody always worried about catching something. They always telling you get tested. You watch BET late at night, talking about get tested. Say they wrap it up. They say they say one in five niggas got AIDS. That's why I only roll out with three niggas when I go out. I'm like, look. <laughs> I bet hey, Rob gotta stay at home tonight. Like I ain't <laughs> I ain't trying to catch that AIDS. <laughs> but you fuck around and like you like you catch like chlamydia or gonorrhea, like that's that's nothing. Like, you get rid of that in three to five business days. It's nothing. <laughs> nothing. But, you know, people are always like, ah, oh, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, you know, except for herpes. Ho, ho, ho. I'm like, look. I'm like, but herpes is scarier than a motherfucker. I was like, but yeah, also there's AIDS. But, you know, if you, uh, you catch AIDS, like, I'd be like, ooh, like, I don't. If a bitch picked me up in a club and she was like, look, let's have sex, but I got AIDS, I'd be like, I don't know. Let me have a couple more drinks. <laughs> Cause when you as a man, when your dick is hard, you don't fear nothing. You don't fear nothing. My husband coming home in five minutes. That's cool. I only need two. Like you don't fear nothing. You know, somebody asked me one time, like, "Hey, would you rather have AIDS or herpes?" And I was like, "I take AIDS." And he was like, "What?" I was like, "Nigga, you could hide AIDS." <laughs> oh, come on. Anybody in this motherfucker ever seen AIDS? <laughs> Ain't nobody seen AIDS. You can Google it. You'll see ribbons. You'll see people racing, which is the fucked up way to get the cure. I said, race for the cure. Like, I'm a fast little nigga. I can catch AIDS. <laughs> and be cool by Wednesday. They'd be like, nigga, you had A's yet, yeah, but I won the race, nigga, I'm good. 